in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a hunt class destroyer as used mostly by the British Royal Navy during World War II. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys if you're looking for more warship tutorials I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to the full playlist. Anyway, let's get into building. So here I am on my tutorial flat world and this is where I'm going to be building mine out of the water so you guys can see every block placement uh, without the water getting in the way basically. If you guys are building this one in the water though that's what this section is going to be covering as well as you know how many blocks long and wide and high and all that kind of stuff it is as well as if you're mooring it up you know how many blocks have you actually got to play with those kind of things. So 89 blocks in total that is from right the front of the bit here right to the back piece I believe there's a flag so there's a couple extra blocks because of the flag there is indeed so yeah that's what's going on there in terms of its width it is 11 blocks wide that includes these little things if anyone knows what these are let me know which I know somebody will because I haven't looked it up um, but that includes those. Most of the actual ship itself is is nine blocks wide. Uh, it's just like the extra bits and pieces, such as you know the banners on the sides and also these machine guns. They end up sticking over just by one block on either side from that. It is also 31 blocks high. So um, yeah, it's actually pretty tall compared to some of the other ones that I've been doing recently, the World War II ones that I've been doing recently. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on there. So. Where is it underwater? Where are you going to have to build it? Uh, and things like that. So the red layers are all underwater. That's the easy way of doing it. Um, you can also put the black water layer underneath the water. But um, yeah, it's, it's up to you guys. If you want just to be red or want black, those two are underneath. Uh, are kind of up to you guys. So if you've got the water, say if you have wanted the red ones, what does, what does that actually mean? Well, you've got one block next to that water layer, level there. You go one, two three and four and that is your starting block so for the starter part of it there's this little thing underneath it which again I don't know what that is but there's that thing and there's also some of the back propellers as well on that level that's where you start and of course if you want to do it on the black layer you just go one block up so then you've got one two three four and five up to you guys um, really is depends on what kind of look you're going for and uh, things like that but that's what's going on with there. So I'll get rid of these blocks now and get rid of the water so it doesn't get into it. And I keep on doing this with the concrete powder. Right. So the front of the ship, yeah, it is right up to it. So you can build this box. And again, that box will be 89 blocks long and it'll be 11 blocks wide. Uh, I'd recommend doing this. It just helps. Well, it'll help you out a bit to figure out where, where everything's going. But um, you don't have to build it. No, it's just up to you going on there but uh, from the actual black layer you've just got two blocks to play with and then you're right at that front piece like that so that's kind of where you're looking at um, in terms of the back you do have more to play around with so we fly all the way around here what we've actually got is four blocks and then you hit the rudder so four blocks to the rudder um, and that's kind of the rest of the hole as well to be fair it's pretty pretty flat at the back actually this one uh, really really flat at the back but that is what that is. So at least that gives you guys an idea of where you're going to be building it or how many blocks underneath the water. But uh, I'd probably recommend the red layer. I reckon probably look good. But, uh, you know, it's up to you guys. It's your ship after you've built it. So go and have fun with it. So anyway, let's get on to the layered part of the tutorial where we're going to be knocking through these one by one. Uh, until we've completed it until we well get past the the majority of the layers and then I'll do it section by section moving back to well to the to the back really that's about it right cool so let's get into that so for layer number one what we're going to do is we're going to start right at the start of this box obviously if you guys aren't using the box you're just building it out in the ocean somewhere it doesn't really matter but just be aware that the starting point is actually here so on the ship so just be aware of that so we're actually going to be from the middle of this box. So if you guys do want to find the middle, it's, it's not too not too bad at all, really. Um, you can kind of see it there, right in the middle, um, which is the one, two, three, four, five, sixth block. <laughs> that might actually help rather than just going, see, look, done. Um, what we're going to be from here is 16 blocks back. So that includes this one. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and then you got 16. This is going to be this one right here. 
So that's going to be a 16th block. Um, people have said that they like this, so that's why I go with the block gap. It shows you what's going on, but that's where a starting point is going to be. So yeah, 16th block, I'm just going to put down red concrete for the time being, but grab yourself some never brick stairs, because that's what our starting block is going to be. I'm going to have a stair going this way, then around here, then here, then here. And then put a piece of red concrete right in the middle. And now I just put down red concrete there because that's the block that I had. But that's what's going to go on the front part of it. Now, for you guys that are just building this one out of the water without the box, it's going to be 64 blocks. So from here, if I grab this, I can use something called World Edit to count these out for me, which is fantastic. Uh, so that's 27, which is not anywhere near it, but uh, you know, you'd be able to count out a total of, so I'll get there, 64. There we go. So that's where you'd be. So if you did count out 64 blocks, that is where you're actually going to be. For you guys that have the box, where you're going to be is four blocks from the back. So you go one, two, three, and four, and then this is going to be your starting point here. And what you're going to have in this area right here is going to be an upside down never brick stair and then you're going to have another upside down never brick stair on the other side of that. I'm just going to get rid of that red block there because that one doesn't stick. These yellow blocks don't stick anyway. Um, but that's that. And we need to grab either a block of gold or a block of copper. Um, I would probably advise using copper now, now that we've got it. Uh, I just happen to not have upgraded my server yet. So that's the reason I'm still <laughs> haven't got the blocks. Um, and I'm sure in the future there'll be something else as well. Brass would be great. Uh, brass would look great or something like that, but copper will do. So what we're going to do here, right here is we're going to have a block of gold or copper right next to that second one. So the one that's closest to the front of the ship right there, leave a block, put down a piece of gold. So we're going to have these either side. Um, we might as well just build the propellers because why not? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a block uh, in the middle of that and then just bring it forwards and then just go out diagonally like this. So you're building these little props, nice and simple looking, but they do the job. Um, so yeah, you could do something, you know, that may, might look fancier with some of the new copper stairs and things like that. Um, but for me, because you don't see them, it's underneath the water. These will do as big, chunky things. But that is it, guys, for layer number one. And now for layer number two, what you guys are going to do is grab yourself some red concrete. And on top of this little block that you've got here, place a block of red concrete. Um, and counting this one, you're going to be 14 forwards in total. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. That's not right. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that's 13. Yeah, 14, like I said. There we go. Um, what you're going to do here is you're going to have a never brick slab on the front of that one. Now, with your blocks, you're going to count a total of 10 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then what you can have is three slabs, but these slabs are going to go forwards, weirdly. So you go one, two, and three, okay? So this right here is ten, counted from there to the front on terms of, in terms of blocks, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to have a total of six blocks behind this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the last three of them are going to be slabs, one, two, and three, like that. Then you're going to have nine blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The last five of them are going to be slabs, one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to have seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, but then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go out. So this one's slightly different. We're going to go out and have a total of 12 slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. And that's just this little bit underneath here, as you can see. Oh. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be in and we're going to have five blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five. On the back of this now, we're going to have 11 slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then with our slab still moving, we're going to have six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to move in and we're going to have three slabs. One, two, and three like that. Then right at the end, we're going to have a block of red concrete. And that is going to have two slabs on the end like that. What we can now do is we can actually bring this center block all the way block back, all the way back, like that. 
and you can fill in the rest of these empty box here, these bits here, with your red concrete. So, quite a lot of concrete, you're going to need a hell of a lot of concrete in fact. Hope you guys aren't building this in survival, I know there's always some people that do. Um, I, well, I shake my hat to you sir, uh, if you do that, because it's craziness, craziness. Uh, I would never, ever do it in, in, uh, in survival. Actually, I just realised there's a couple little bits that we need to tweak on the back here. So where we've got the this three slabs here, just take out these two blocks of concrete and put in two slabs there. And it's the same for the next section here as well. So take out those two, put in two slabs there like that. There we go, that looks better. We also need to put in these little uh, things, whatever they're called. Uh, and that is on your block of, what is this? Your five, two, three, four, five, yep. So a block of our five slabs here when we get onto the main chunk of the uh, of the ship. So I'm going to go with, um, go to the second block and have an upper slab. Then you're going to have a lower slab. So upper slab, lower slab, like that. Haven't done the other side, so why am I looking at it? Right, we're going to mirror it on the other side. So we've got three slabs here. Then we've got six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Last three are going to be slabs. One, two, and three, like that. Then we are going to have nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last five are going to be slabs. One, two, three, four, and five. And then behind this, in terms of our blocks, we're going to have seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're now going to move out, and we're going to have 12 slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Very, very quickly, I'm just going to go over to here. So we've got these two blocks here. We've got that set of five. Go to the second block, have your upper slab, and then a lower slab in here like that. So you get this kind of a pattern going on. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move in. We're going to have five blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. Right on the end of this, we're just going to continue on with some slabs. So you've got 11 slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're going to go move in. We're going to have six slabs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have three slabs. One, two, and three. And rather than me making a mistake this time, add in these two. So we've got this set, set of three. Add an extra two to join those up. And do the same here as well. Add an extra two. Now we can fill this up. Like this, there we go, get in there. Right, nearly there. There we go, cool. So that at least is the whole part of uh, of the ship. So what we've got to do with the back pieces, it's nice and easy. Um, what we've got for on top of the rudder pieces, just put two pieces of your red uh, concrete. I'm just going to knock out the block there. Also going to knock that block out. I'll leave it otherwise. Right on the end of this one, we're going to have an upside down stair. So red never brick stair like that. On the end of these rotors, going towards the ship itself, you're going to have a red piece of concrete. Red piece of concrete here. Then we're going to have a block of polished black stone. So I'm just using the slabs for this. We've got black stone on the back of that. And we're going to have three slabs. One, two, and three. Like that. One, two, and three. And that's because I've actually angled them going in. Trying this out, seeing what it looks like. It's okay. It's not too bad. So, yeah, that's just what I think. Um, but, guys, that is it for layer number two. And now for layer number three, what we're going to do, guys, grab your red concrete, and we're going to be directly on top of the last layer, that slab that we've got there. This is actually going to have an upside-down red never brick stair on the front of it. So put an upside-down one on there and this is actually going to be a total of six blocks going back so that includes the red concrete block we already put down so you got one two three four five and six one two three four five and six like that the last two are going to have red never brick slabs one and two then behind this we're going to have six blocks one two three four five and six with the last two having red never brick slabs like this then behind this, you can have six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. With the last three of them having red uh, Neverick slabs. One, two, and three, like that. Now we're going to have 11 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I want to double check that because I don't trust myself. I did do it right. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> fine by me. <laughs> cool. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to go out with five slabs. So. 
uh, sorry, not out. We're going to go with the uh, the last five slabs. One, two, three, four, and five, like that. Behind this now, we're actually going to have 28 blocks. So let's plunk those in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, like that. Put six slabs right on the back of this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move in and we're going to have three blocks. So we've got one, two, and three. On the back of this one, we're going to have three slabs. So one, two, and three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in. We're going to have one block of your red concrete like this. And that is going to have a slab on it. Then we're going to go out again. We're going to have two blocks. So one and two to here. And then we're going to do on the back of those is have two red never brick slabs. And then what we're going to do is that's going to actually be it. We're going to have two blocks just behind that. So two blocks behind that. And then we can put on the red never brick slab on the top of that one there like that. Okay, there we go. Now what we do, we've got all these gaps. We've got all these holes in our ship. So we just go in behind it. And plonk in some red concrete. Patch in the holes. I mean, at the front it was okay, but uh, the back, not so much. So there we go. So what we're going to do, again, on here, on the other side, two slabs. Then we're going to have six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Two slabs. Then I believe we've got another six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. And we've got three slabs on the back of that. Then what we got is 11 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And five slabs on those. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we've got 28 blocks. I'm not going to count them out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball it with the other side. And just kind of line it up there. There we go. So you can just, you know, if you want to, build a line. Whatever works for you guys. Uh, we're going to have six slabs on the back of this. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Going to move in and have three blocks. One, two, and three. Then we're going to have three slabs, one, two, and three. Then we're going to move in, and we're going to have one block, like this, with a slab on it. Then we're going to have two blocks, right on here, like that. And these are going to have two slabs on it, right there, like that. Now I can fill in the gaps, and then we'll finish up the back part where we've got the blades and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's looking good, cool. Right. So, you'll notice the lack of slabs around here, you know, you'd think, oh, you put in another one there. Well, the reason we don't is because we're going to put in these uh, bits where the, the shafts are going. So, on top of these slabs we've already got, put three slabs on top of that. Then we're going to have three blocks of your polished black stone. And that's why that goes into there. Um, like that. Okay. So, guys, slight tweak. I was just looking at this going, this is not lining up with that. Um, it turns out the gold blocks are in the wrong, wrong place. So typical that we've put in those in the wrong place. But uh, yeah, remove these. And you're just going to move it back by one block. Like this. Sorry, you guys. It's always something. There's always something with these. Uh, which means we've got then red on the back there. Got a polished blackstone slab there. And I've got three of those. And then three of those there. So that is what you should have. So that's what you did have. This is what you should have. So, typical. It's always something. <laughs> There's none of these are ever as simple as uh, as I'd like them to be. So there we go. Put in this here. Put that forwards. I think it's because this block here. I think I'd seen that as being at the front. So that's where I'd set everything off of in my mind. And my mind is of course wrong. So yeah, red concrete block behind that. Polished blackstone slab. Three slabs there. Or well, not slabs. Sorry, a full block there slabs there then we're gonna have three blocks here one two and three like that there we go that looks a lot better so final bits for um, this part here what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a red concrete block going here and a red concrete block going here right on the back we're actually gonna have a slab on top of that upside down stair so this part that we've got there and then we're gonna have a red concrete block right in the middle and a red never brick sorry yeah red never brick um, stair right on the end of that as that part there but that is it guys at least now that's all corrected and now that all lines up I'm much happier now um, that is it guys for layer number three and now for layer number four what we're going to do is right on the front 
we're going to have four pieces of red concrete directly on top of the last layer. So we're including on top of this stair here. So you go one, two, three, and four like that. We're going to have an upside down stair on the last block. In like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have five blocks behind this. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to have one slab on the side here. Then we're going to have six blocks behind this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're also going to have one slab on it like that. Then we're going to have eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, with one slab on the side of it like that. Then we're going to have 43 blocks. Yep, that's a lot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thir
Then we're going to have eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to have a, a slab on this one. There you go. Slab on the side of that one. So I'm getting mixed up. Then we're going to have 49 blocks. So I'm going to just use this. I'm going to count it, but I'm also going to check it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36, 7, what was it? <laughs> 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Ugh. Oh. Two blocks over the slab. That's all you need to know, guys. That's all you need to know. Nothing else. Nice and simple. We're going to have one slab on the back of this one right here. Then when we move into here, ignore the gap. We're going to have uh, eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like that. We're then on the back of this one going to have an upside down stair. So your blackstone stair like that. Then we're going to have two blocks just directly on top of the last layer. Blackstone slab right on the end there, and then just three blocks of black uh, black concrete directly on top of this layer right here. So fill in the little gaps that you got. There's only a couple, and we'll do the same on the other side. So it's not going to take us too long. So five blocks: one, two, three, four, and five. We're then going to have one blackstone slab right on the side of that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have five blocks, uh, or are we? One slab, eight blocks. One. Two, three, four, five. No, we're having five blocks. We are having five blocks. Yes, yeah, sorry. My instructions are terrible. Five blocks right here. Then a slab again. Now we've got the eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. No wonder I got confused earlier. Then we've got one slab here right there like that. And then we've got that 49 blocks. I, I am not counting that. It's just two over, two over. That's all we need to remember. And that's pretty much it. So there we go two over from that side there like that one slab on the back here then we're going to have eight blocks so ignore this little gap here so one two three four five six seven and eight upside down stair here right like that then we have the two blocks on the end and a blackstone slab in a little corner piece there like that and we will fill in those gaps there we go nice and easy nice and simple like that so guys, at least that's it for, you should, you know, if you've got this one in the water, you're out of the water, regardless of if you were doing the, uh, the red layer or the black layer. You guys are out of the water, so cool. Um, now it's on to the light grey concrete layer, um, which is quite exciting. So coming coming up in the next couple of layers, two of the layers are basically at the back part of it, so we'll be able to whip through those. And then there's another two layers on top for the front part of it. So we're actually four layers away, but uh, they're going to go pretty quick. So uh, let's whip through those now. And now for layer number six, you're go you guys are going to need to grab some materials. We're going to need a stone slab, stone stair, light grey concrete, and also andesite wall as well. So grab all of those ones. With your light grey concrete, place three blocks directly on top of the last layer like that. And we're going to have an upside down stone stair right on the front there. You guys can also, you know, switch out the light grey concrete just for normal stone if you want everything to look the same. Uh, it's totally up to you guys, I just prefer the light grey concrete, I think it's a cool looking block colour wise as well, kind of matches. Right on the front here as well, where we've got this stair, we're actually going to have three andesite walls. This is part of, you can see it, the anchor. So that's what's going on with that bit. Right on the sides of these we're going to have an upside down uh, stone stair, so that's what's going on there. We are then going to have a total of four blocks behind, one, two, three and four. Then we're going to have an upside down stone stair like that. Then we're going to have, um, we are going to have, so that's one, two, three, four, another four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There we go, I'll get there eventually. Then what we're going to do is we're actually not going to have any sort of um, stairs or anything like that. We're going to be straight out and we're going to have eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it going, gee, I wonder if I've missed something here because it looks a little bit. I don't know, not smooth, <laughs> but uh, I guess actually a stair there is not going to really work, so who knows, we'll have a look at that, probably near the end, we might do some tweaking on that anyway, we'll see. So there we go, we've got our eight blocks there, what we're going to do is on, or uh, at this eighth block that we've actually got, we are going to have an upside down stair, and then behind this we're going to have 53 blocks, so I am not going to count this, it should 
be one over the slab but I'll, I'll use world edit to count it for me just to confirm that um, because yeah otherwise it's just a lot of counting usually with these but it should be to there which should be there we go 53 blocks so we're gonna add just a slab onto the back of that there like that then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have seven blocks so one two three four five six and seven that should be on top of the stair and that's because we're not counting this little gap block here we can put that in otherwise it would be eight blocks there we go then what we're going to do is going to be on top of the last layer really just going across and around these bits here like that so that's nice and easy and if we do the same on the other side now so we get those three pieces of andesite i don't know if it's got anchors either side i've put anchors either side totally up to you guys what you want to do uh, we're gonna have an upside down that stair here then we're gonna have four blocks one two three four upside down stair then one two three four then nothing here, but we're going to have that eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then upside down stair, then that 53 blocks. But of course, we're not going to count that because that's too much effort. So uh, we'll just drag this on the way back till we're one over. There we go, one over like that. Going to add a slab onto the back of that one there. Then we're going to have seven blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we weren't counting this one right here, so we put in put in a block like that. That is it, guys, for layer number six. And now for layer number seven, what we're going to do is with a light grey concrete directly on top of the stair, we're going to have three blocks of light concrete like that. In the middle of this andesite wall piece, we're just going to place another, well, just one more piece of andesite wall. Andesite wall? Wall. <laughs> I'll get there. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to have four blocks. So on top of this um, stair, we're going to go one, two, three, and four, like that. Then what we're going to have right here is an upside down stone stair on the side of it, like that. We're then going to have four blocks, one, two, three, and four. Then right on the side of this one, we're going to have a slab, like that. Then we're going to have seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And with this one, we're actually going to have the last two sla uh, two blocks are going to be slabs right there on the side like that. Then we're going to have 56 blocks. So one, uh, I'm not going to count these, um, but I will let World Edit do the counting for us and I'll tell you guys where it's at. So I'll just keep dragging this one back. And there we go. If we go to on top of that one. That is exactly where we're at. So we're on top of the slab. I, I was thinking, I'm sure that's what I just wrote, like, not wrote down, just saw, but uh, you never know. Um, we're going to move in and we're going to have seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's directly on top. And the only difference right here is gonna, we're going to have a upside down stair like that. And then this is going to be all on top like that. So we'll do the same on the other side. Continue the whole thing on. So right here we got four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Gonna have an upside down stair right here like that. Another four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna have a slab right here. Then we're gonna have seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then the last two of these are gonna be stone slabs. And then we're gonna just bring this concrete block, like concrete, all the way back. Until we're on top of that slab right at the end. Should be coming up any time now. There we go. It's quite a long ship, really, when you look at it this way. Um, but right here, what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, what we're going to have. We're going to have seven blocks: one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's just directly on top, and an upside down that stair like that. Cool. So that's all looking quite good. Uh, what we're also going to do right here is we're going to add in a light concrete block here and here. And what we're going to do from this point is we're actually going to count 39 blocks. Uh, now I am going to use world edit, I'm going to cheat, but you know, just count like normal till you get to 39 blocks, there we go, 39 blocks. Grab yourself some cyan terracotta, this is just what I used for the deck of mine, um, so you know, you, can, you guys can do the same if you want to, like this, and what you're going to do is you're just going to fill this in, going to the, towards the back of the ship, just from that 39th block, so I should be able to do... Uh, cyan terracotta. There you go. So well done. It makes everything easier. Um, <laughs> definitely recommend it if you can. If you can obviously get it on a Java edition. But that's what's going on there. That 39 blocks because that is all of the back 
the back part of it. So it means you are done with the hole for this back section. Um, but you know, we've still got much more to do in terms of the front section and all of the bits that actually go on the hole that make it look like a like an actual warship. So anyway guys, that is it for that layout, I think, unless we... Nope, I did do it right. I did add that in. I was wondering if I'd done that or not because I couldn't remember, but uh, it's all looking good. So we'll get on to the next layer. And now for layer number eight, what you're going to do is with your light grid concrete, place three blocks directly on top of the last layer, one, two, and three like that. And we're just going to build up that andesite wall um, thingamajiggy, what's it called? Anchor. That'll do it. Um, on either side of this, we're going to have an upside down stone stair. So I'm just going to plonk it in on both sides like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks behind that of your light grid concrete, one and two. And right here, we're going to have a stone slab on the side. Then we're going to have three blocks behind this, one, one, two, and three. Then we're going to have that stone slab on the side there. Behind this, we're going to have a total of seven blocks behind it, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then the last two of these are going to have slabs on them, one and two. Then we're going to have 22 blocks behind this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So two blocks past here. We're going to place down a stone slab there as well. So let's just very quickly do this on the other side. Then we can get onto some other bits. So we've got two blocks on the side here. Then we're going to have a slab. Then three blocks. 1, 2, and 3. Then a slab. And then we're going to have seven blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Two slabs, one, two, and then those 22 blocks, but of course I'm not going to count those because I can just line it up with the other side, which is absolutely fine. Probably. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely good. Right, cool. So then once we've got this part of it, what we're going to do is we're going to have a block here and a block here. So just where our floor kind of ends, really. Um, and we're actually going to have pieces of ladder on top of this and we'll end up building this up actually in fact let's just do that now we'll just add an extra block on these put in your ladder piece um, leave a little gap here and then we're just gonna have a solid wall on this piece there get your cyan terracotta and also if you want this is one of the places where I've put in little doors going in because of this boxy unit here it actually makes the the two to high deck work. So this is one of the ways that I've got as an entrance into the ship. So feel free to do the same. Uh, there we go. So we'll pop those two into that part there. Uh, what we're also going to do is we'll put the number on the side. So it's um, the one that I've been based it on, I guess, is the LO3, which I don't know what that actually is in terms of the ship, but these are the pennant numbers. L means escort destroyer from what I remember uh, when I was having a look at well, why are they even... Oh, I've got L in front of them. Why have some of them got uh, other things in front of them? So um, I'll leave a link in the description to a website that actually has all of these letters, which are already kind of like pre-done. Um, but, you know, it's up to you guys what you want to go with on the side. You can even put the whole name if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. If you had a shorter name, then go with that. So from here, one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, uh, you can place down your letter and then your numbers. Um... And we'll just do that on those ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one. We'll just go the other way around. Simple as that. Um, but really good website as well for, for letters and numbers. Um, they've got the uh, like craftable versions of them as well as like command block versions of them, um, which you know is pretty pretty neat to be fair. Cool. Okay. So what else we got to do on this layer anyway? Um, it's a nice bit of fun. Uh, iron bars grab them and we're just going to pull this all the way around the back part of the ship so all on this bit so it's quite a long section a lot longer than you probably think it's going to be I'm obviously missing tons but that's fine I'm going to put this on here and around there and that's why we put in that extra block it's just so that it's all set on top of just the light concrete blocks because um, it kind of works naturally here with the with the stairs but uh, not everywhere else so there we go let's put this in this is a little bit easier I think it's just me flying I think that's the problem and there we go we go right up to this point obviously ideally we'd be able to hit into that block but it's kind of quite smooth that bit so that's why the slabs in there but anyway guys that is it for layer number eight and now for layer number nine what we're going to do is right on the front 
place one block just on the front of there. You're then going to have an upside down stone stair which will bring you in line with the edge of our little box or on, on the line of the box, um, like that. Then what we're going to do, if we just place down a block temporarily right here, we're then going to have an upside down stone stair. We can get rid of that block. So that's going to be where the chain system goes in and then takes off, obviously you can drop the, the doohickey, this an, um, anchor, there we go. Uh, right behind that we're going to have one block. Then we're going to go out and we're going to have four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. Then upside down stone stair here like that. Then behind this we're going to have five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. Then a slab. And then these blocks right here are going to go all the way back until we're in line with this block here. And then we just put in a stone slab on the side here like that. So on the other side, we just put in that block there. Then we're going to have four blocks, two, three, four. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a upside down stone stair. Did I put a stone stair in there? Yeah, I did. That's all right then. And then behind this, we're going to have five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to have a slab. And then we're just going to bring this block or box back, whatever, block back. Yeah, block back to this point here and then put in a slab there like that. Cool. So what else are we going to do? Well, we've got a little bit of deck work to do. So um, this one's nice and easy. Where we've got the, the longest run, go to the next one. And then just on the inside of this one, we're going to pull this across here. And this is going to be where we put the deck in. So what we can do, I can just grab this here and plonk that there and just do the same command that I did before and I'm done. Um, what you'll want to do is you will want to, when we get onto the next sections, cut this out a little bit. Um, either that or have a very steep drop down, but as you can see, you know, underneath the box, you can end up cutting out a lot of this floor. Apparently I've not cut those two out, but um, there is quite a big chunk that you can actually cut out to uh, to make it so it's accessible. But, you know, it might be one of those things that because most of this is, you know, two blocks high, you go straight to some stairs and then you, you drop down and you've got, you've got a level there. But, you know, it, it's totally up to you guys. Um, also grab some polished blackstone slabs as well. And uh, we're just going to plonk them here and here. This is going to be part of this chain system. So it's actually where it drops in. So that's what's going on for that bit. But um, yeah, guys, uh, that is it for layer number nine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the last bit, which is uh, level number 10. Um, and we're also going to put in the little chain system as well. So why not? So with your light grey concrete, put two blocks directly on top of the last layer. Have upside down stone stairs either side of that. We're then going to have two blocks behind that. Two blocks behind that like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down stone stair. Then we're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to have three stone slabs. One, two, and three just on the sides there. So upside down stone stair. Then four blocks. One, two, three, four. Four, like that, then three stone slabs, just like that. Nice and simple. Cool. So what's next? Well, we're going to need a couple of blocks. You're going to need some anvils. Um, you're also going to need more of the uh, polished black stone slabs uh, because we're going to get onto these bits. So where we've got the last slab, we're going to have a black stone slab there. And we're just going to make a little kind of cross looking thing going on. And we'll do the same on the other side as well. In between those, we're going to put the anvils in. And then what we're going to do is have these slabs just go in as they are on the upper piece and then it'll drop down here. I know it doesn't line up, but it will do. So, um, <laughs> like some people will just be like, no, it doesn't line up with the hole here, but that's you know, fine. You know, you could always do something like, like here where it goes down to there and, and drops in. I mean, it's totally up to you guys. If you wanted to do that, go for it. Um, but yeah. Uh, then what we're going to do with our stone slabs now is right on the lower slab we're actually going to have these just in here like that so it's on the same level most of them as you can see on the same level and then it just drops in like that okay um, with your iron bars we're going to have this going around the top like this and we're also going to have it going around here as well all the way around only bit I can't remember is what happens at the back so we don't do anything at the back, that's fine. Cool. That always makes it easier. So let's drag this all the way back here like this. Like that. There we go, guys. 
So we've now got on to bits of the detailing of the superstructure, so we'll get on to the gun, the cannon, um, next. Okay, so now we're on to the main gun right at the front here. So uh, I've actually not got one of the blocks that I need, which is uh, typical, isn't it? Uh, but we are going to need some polished andesite stairs. So um, upside down polished andesite stairs across this front part here. This is going to be where where the um, uh, iron bar switches onto the thinner part right here. That's where we're going to have our upside down. We're just going to have upside down the stairs going across here like this. And then behind it, we're going to have six blocks of light gray concrete. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. On top of this, build or using your or just place on top uh, polished andesite slabs. It's only going to be the last two. So you're going to actually miss those out there. We're not going to have any on the last two at all. Um, the guns for these are quite simple looking actually. They I've ended up having to tweak them to try and make them look a little bit better. And I'll give you guys a couple variations for the more I don't know I'd, I'd say realistic looking ones um, or the the kind of fancier looking ones I guess. Um, is the way that I've done it. So first kind of change that I ended up doing is just on the inside of this We're going to leave one block. I'm going to go to the next and do upside down stone stairs um, If you want it more realistic, it's just blocks. It's really blocky. The whole thing is just like a big square um, But you know that is what it is uh, on top of that. We're gonna have we're gonna have blocks like that so just blocks of um, your stone and then what we're going to do with polished andesite, either side of this, because it's a dual cannon type thing. Uh, we're going to have a polished andesite slab. That's what I ended up going with for mine. And then we're going to go up. I believe this goes out four times from what I remember. There we go, four of those going out there. You can use other things as well. You could use your polished blackstone slabs or never brick slab or whatever you wanted to. If you wanted to make it look darker, not a problem at all. Uh, I just made mine very metallic looking. Um, thought it would do. So there we go. Uh, right in the middle of this we're going to have a stone slab. We're actually going to have a dark oak fence gate as well right here. And we're going to punch that through because we can. Um, that's the reason why we put that on there. Uh, right behind this we're going to have a piece of stone either side of that. And then what we're going to do over the top of this, just over here, we're going to have a stone slab. And we're going to be two by three going over it like that. That's going to be the main base of that. So then we get onto the inside parts of it. So what I ended up doing is having a stone stair this way, and then I ended up wrapping a stone stair around this way, and then doing the same here as well. So just wrapping the stone stair around that way, placing in a stone block at the top, and then having a stone stair in there like that. Um, but you know, if you wanted it to be a little bit more realistic looking, then you kind of end up having just. Um, I th from what I remember, I think it's just completely flat, so you even just get rid of all of this stuff, uh, and then that's like it. There's not really anything, but the I think the back looks a lot better like this, um, and putting in the stone stairs that way. But it's up to you guys. I think the main tweak for me, and I'm still deciding between them, is either like that or like this, because this kind of cuts it away a little bit too much and makes it look too angled this way, I think. But um, you know that is what it is um, and then underneath this we're just gonna have two pieces of polished blackstone there should actually be bits either side of it because of the where the two cannons are but it's just too small and um, minecraft blocks are too big so that's where we get stuck with that but that is it guys for the main gun on the ship uh, we will be getting quite familiar with this design because there's three of them in total we got one two and then we got three down there so we'll end up doing the same thing but i'll talk you guys through that i think we'll probably put those two uh, together when we get around to it but uh, at least you can kind of have a look in here and you can see the barrels I mean that was the main kind of thing I was going for with this thing but uh, yeah it's quite interesting quite different um, and yeah play around with it right so now we'll get on to the next bit which is going to be the bridge we might do this in a couple different sections I'll see okay so now for the bridge uh, I'm going to do this in two sections I think because uh, this thing up here is really complicated which I'm guessing is some sort of antenna array thing and I've tried to create it uh, and I've just realized I can make it look better very quickly so I'm, I'm going to tweak that design between <laughs> between now and then right so what we're going to do guys is right uh, here with the light gray we're going to go one block gap between this going to go straight across so we've got five blocks this is going to be seven blocks back so one two three four five six seven two three four five six seven like that what from the side here we're gonna leave two of them and then cut one block out right here and that's where we're gonna put in a door 
So plonk in a door like that either side. And we can build this up to be free high as well. So let's do that. And around here as well, build that one all up. Knock those out like that. Right at the back, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to have three blocks. One, two, three. And I get three blocks at the back as well. It makes this tiny little section, but it's pretty good if you want to put a staircase in. So that kind of works. Um, works for that anyway. I uh, don't know why I didn't put a block over the door, but do put a block over the door. Um, that would definitely help. And then with your stone slab, we're going to put this on the front. Go across. Go across one more. And we're going to go one on either side. So just where the door is, we put in an extra one on either side of that, like that. Uh, we are going to need to grab a dark oak fence as well. So what we'll do is we'll place one block here. So one block of light concrete right here. Then we're going to go out two blocks like this. And then this is going to go back five in total. So you've already got one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to go one block over like that. Right at the back here, we're going to have three blocks going out as well. So you have three blocks going out like that. So the minute it looks very random, but it will start to come together, uh, probably. Uh, place a block there, and then we're going to go out with those two. Two, three, four, five, because it's five blocks in total. One more at the back there like that. Now we're going to do for the side pieces. It's basically the same as the flower uh, class Corvette. We've got two fences, uh, but this time we're going to have them in the middle and on the ends as well. So have these here, and then we're going to have fence gates like that. Same on the other side, of course. So put in your... Just completely destroy what you built. <laughs> That's, if you're me, that is. There we go. Put in those there. Oh, God. Placing them everywhere. Um, then put in your fences, put in your fences. There we go, like that. And then with your stone slabs, if we go back to this side, we're going to have stone slabs underneath this section here and this is going to go all the way to the back here and also have two going here like that on this back piece have stone slabs going across it as well and we'll do the same on the other side so you get stone slabs here and then two there like that okay so we're going to put in some windows i think there's two there is two indeed so there's two windows at the front here so we're just going to knock these two out here and put in glass panes uh, I mean, it's pretty small to be fair it's like really quite small uh, I do think that would be good for stairs, definitely. That's probably what I'd end up doing, but it's up to you guys what you want to do. Uh, we're also going to put in another window as well. So on the inside here, leave two blocks from your door and cut one out for a window. And we can do the same from the inside. This Well, I could do it from the inside anyway, but uh, do that there. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a ladder on, because how do we get to the next deck? We need a ladder. So this is where we're going to get a little bit cheaty, because... Um, we kind of have to. Um, so if you guys can't get that GT, then you're going to have to put a stair in there. Okay. Um, but if you have world edit, you don't have to put, because you can't put against the slab. I mean, you could technically actually go up that way. That's why I didn't even factor in at all. Um, but if we can use, we can use world edit as well. So what I'm going to do first, I just realized I've got my commands off. Uh, not commands only. Chat shown. That'll do it. Um, I'm going to give myself a barrier. There we go. And I'm going to have two barriers down here, and then we can put the ladders on those barriers. Uh, but that, of course, doesn't fix us being able to put anything against this slab. So with World Edit, at least, I can use the REPL tool. I'm putting a block here. I can take that, and I can paste that in there. So that's how I cheat that one out. Um, but, you know, that is just... That I'm doing it, so there you go. You know, put that in there, or you can put them up the side here. I mean, it really doesn't matter with this. Uh, to, to show you guys, I mean, look, you can walk that all the way around here. In fact, the, the other two ladders, I mean, I've got two ladders going up to the next level, it's probably a bit overkill. Um, apparently, you have to crouch into this bit, but uh, you know, that'll do. But you know, that's what's going on there, at least. So, what else should we put in? We'll put in the guns because that'll save us a tiny little bit of time. Um, in the next section, I really do mean a tiny bit. So we're going to need a fence gate and we're going to need a spruce trap doors. So for the machine guns on these, I just put them directly in the middle. And I went with the fence gate here, fence gate going out. So that actually gets to your outside line. Fence gate this way and punch it through. And then we're going to have 
spruce trapdoors either side. Those are the kind of guards that you've got on these. Like that. So we can do the same here. Like this. And get that in there for machine guns. Who knows? Maybe one day we will get machine guns. I severely doubt it, but you never know. Um, but that, guys, is it for this little bit of the bridge. So we'll get on to the next level of the bridge and this mast thing. So to finish up the bridge, what we're going to do is right on the front with our light grey concrete, go across here. Then we're going to have, I believe, an additional three blocks. Yeah, we are. Of course we are. One, two, three. Oh, that's not it. Going high. <laughs> two, three. It is going to be three across, but it's also three high above this part of it here. Christ. There we go. Right, build this single block here where we've got that. Just build that one all the way up. Then what we're going to do at the back right here, we're actually going to go in. This is where it's, it's tiny. It's honestly so small, the interior of this thing. Um, but from here, we're going to have four blocks going back. So go one, two, three, and four. And the same here as well. Two, three, four. And have that sticking up there. These are going to be built up, except right at the last block. Leave the last block. Do not touch the last block. There we go. So that's what you're going to get right in the middle of this block here where we've got a, a gap here this is going to be built up as well just build it up to the same level for the time being i like how i built it completely different on one side there um what we're going to do on the side here we're going to have a door right in this bit okay so if we yeah, we can just grab that for the time being put in some little bits here this is what i'm saying it is just it is so small in this in this area but put in your door there we go, like that. And another door. Like that. And then what we're going to do is window windows. Let's grab ourselves the little glass pane. And we're going to plonk in a window right here. So one block over is where your window is going to be. Also on the front of this, I ended up putting a window in right here. Uh, this doesn't feel like the right place, but it is. It's on the right level. Uh, it's one of those like really weird things because of the slab. It pushes everything off. But as you can see, it's all, it's all on the same level. You could have it higher if you wanted to, I guess. Um, Actually, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't because that is a deck above that. <laughs> so that would not work. Um, anyway, we might as well fill this little deck up. Up to there. And then what we can do is we can put the ladder up as well. So I just put the ladder up on these two sides so that you can you can walk around without um, hitting into it. Because obviously if you go to here and you try to get to there, um, that's the only reason I haven't done that. But you can do that or you can just do those two. It's totally up to you guys. Whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, just go with whatever you want. What we'll do on the front right here is we're going to have three stone slabs like that, right on the front piece. And what we're also going to do is if we grab diorite wall, and we've also got diorite wall already, and we've also got iron bars already apparently. But diorite wall, start from the bottom down here, then go up, and then go out, and then we're going to have an iron bar. We're going to have three of those across the front of this is a little of an antenna kind of system thing going on there. What we're going to do then is with our dark oak fence gates, so we're going to plonk one here and here. And then, did I put them right at the end? Yeah, I did. Right at the ends, plonk them in here. And we're going to punch them towards the middle of this section. And I'll tell you what these are. They are binoculars. It's the best I can do. <laughs> if anyone else has got any better ideas for binoculars, go with them. Send it to me. <laughs> Please do. Because this is the best I could come up with was um, fence gates. So just basically fence gates for everything. Fence gates for guns. Fence gates for binoculars. It's Everything's a fence gate. Uh, fantastic. Right, so on to the next bit. We're just going to build one more block up on this back section here. And we're going to grab a ton of blocks. Um, we're going to grab, because I need to go over here anyway. We're going to grab a polished andesite slab and andesite stair. We're also going to get a smooth quartz slab and a smooth quartz stair. Uh, iron trap doors and end rods. So I just had iron bars in here originally, uh, originally. That's the only bit that I've switched out. So that is it. So right here what we're going to do is we're going to have a polished andesite slab on each of these on the upper. So it does mean that you have to crouch when going up here. Um, how did I do it a minute ago? Because I did manage it, didn't I? Oh, I'm flying. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So you can do it. You can go underneath it. It's just a little bit of a pain. But it'll do. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to have stairs on each of these like that. On each of the corners on the lower slab of this one, we're going to have the slab as well. Like this. Because um, I like to fill stuff in like this. I'm going to put in a light uh, concrete block in there. Um, 
on the front part of it, we're going to have lower slabs of your quartz, like this. We're then going to have a block of quartz behind this, like that. On the back, we're going to have quartz stairs, just normal like this. And then we're going to have upside down stairs here, like that. Then on these, we're going to have end rods sticking out. And we're going to have iron trapdoors on the top and iron trapdoors on the top of these to make that look good. So there we go. That's the little antennary radar, whatever it is. I have no idea what it is, but it looked like it had lots of spiky bits coming out of it and things. So that's why I went with this thing going on here. Um, brand new design. Um, most of these ships seem to have like a brand new design of some kind in them because they always have something wonky. Uh, but I bet you it's because I've seen a picture and it's com something completely different or whatever. But anyway guys, um, what we'll do now actually, because we can, we'll get straight onto this piece right here because we might as well. We're just going to need, um, so that's what, four? Yeah, it's four. Um, there's some boxes at the back of this. I'm not totally sure what's going on with this section, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, just over the door, just place a slab in here. Same on the other side here like this. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly don't really know what's going on with this bit here. Um, pictures wise it's really difficult to tell because um, all of them are like from the front of the ship or just the general side of the ship um, so I've not been able to get a good shot of this but uh, I can see some boxes so anyway right here what we're going to do is going to have three blocks one two and three just off of that slab and the same on the other side obviously and then we're going to have from here we're going to have a three by four box four box is it four one two three no three by three box even so two, three, two, three, and go all the way around here like this. Build that in there. Uh, and then what you can do down here is you can then knock out your blocks that are actually around this. And dig those out and then that will give you your space to, you know, go into here and if you wanted a shed. Um, stairway of some kind that goes to a hallway that goes into here or, or whatever actually. I think you're going to have to have a some sort of stairway anyway for this um, but that's what you can do with that bit there and then just with the uh, stone slabs whack those on top like this and also on the sides of this as well uh, but you know if you guys have a better thing for this or can find some cool pictures of it uh, get to it uh, and and do something better than this because I cannot tell what this bit is it's just stuff so there we go guys we have actually bizarrely finished up the front of the ship um, so we're most of the way through the more complicated stuff, so a lot of it's like stacks and things like that. So we're now going to get onto the main mast here, which is this big part here. Um, we won't be tying this up yet, we'll do that as the last bit, because it's up to you guys if you want to even tie it up or not. I'm kind of, with this one, I think it looks like overkill, um, but you know, <laughs> it's one of those things, it is what it is. So anyway guys, what we're going to do is with our andesite wall, we are going to go up from here, from the sides of this, 11 in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then we're going to just join this over here like that. And then we can go down. Okay. And then we're going to go up in the middle of this piece right here. We're going to be actually down to here. So on the ninth block of this one, this is where we're going to join out. Okay, so that means from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like that. Right in the middle, just go up two more, one, two. Then we're going to join onto the back of this, and then we're going to go up four, one, two, three, three, four, like that. Uh, actually, go five in, in total. Now add three blocks to each side, one, two, three, and I might be actually, it might be four in total. It's four, yep, four to each side. It's really difficult to tell with the um, with the walls. One, two, three, four. At least I find it difficult to. And then in the middle, add another two going up. And then right at the top, I think we got yeah we got some going on here. So we've got two iron bars on top of this. And then another one which goes out to the sides. And then another one on top of that, like that. Then on each of these side pass pieces, we're going to have the iron bars on the top and on the bottom, just like that. Um, and that is actually it for the main mast. So once we've got the whole thing built, then you guys can have a look at which one you prefer um, at the end for actually putting in these rigging parts of it. Uh, it is going to be a pain though. Um, I can tell you that because it was a pain even with even with what magical world edit, which uh, sorted out the line, the angle and all that kind of stuff for me. It was still a pain. 
So anyway guys, let's get on to the next pitch, which is going to be the stack. So now for the smoke stack, what we're going to do is right where we've got the mass that we just built, leave a block and you're going to have one block of light concrete, we're then going to have a two, then we're going to have a one. So this is going to be the shape and we're just going to do it and it is angled. I've tried my best, uh, unless we get vertical slabs, it's the best we can do. What we're going to do now is build this up an extra two blocks, so it'll be free high, like that. On the front, we're going to have upside down stone stair here and here, right in the middle of this, place a block and then have an upside down stone stair so you get it kind of angled off. At the back, we're going to have a stone stair this way and here, and then at the back, place a block and then put that on top there like that. Now what we can do, uh, place in blocks around here, like that, so we can take that one out of the back because we don't actually need that one there. Um, and then what we've got is a one to one again, as you can see there. Now this is going to be from this block four high, so one, two, three and four, and we're just going to build all of that up. Then with our polished blackstone slabs, put that on top. In here, put two note blocks and put never brick fence on top of that. Um, if you guys have done my flower class, by the way, this block I missed on the flower class. So whack that in if you <laughs> if you can see that. And you can have it where you go all the way to the engine room and actually have it as a pretty much functional kind of smokestack. And of course, you can also also do, which I've not even thought about until now for some bizarre reason. You can always put a campfire in, to be fair, underneath these and actually have some smoke. I don't know why, I've never thought about that, but um, yeah, maybe even put underneath those some thatch to make it... That's not called thatch, is it? What is it called? Hay bale, there we go. See, and what is it called? Of course. So that is, there we go, that'll then boost that all the way up. That looks way better. Go with that. Don't go with anything else. Just go with that so you actually got some smoke coming out of the whole thing. Much, much cooler. Right, cool guys, we'll get on to the next bit which is going to be the anti-aircraft gun. So now for the anti-aircraft gun, what we're going to do is we're going to leave two blocks from the stack and we're going to have three blocks going across here out of your light grey concrete. It's going to go forwards, it's going to be three blocks in total. So you get this little, little thing here. Then we're going to have one block there like that. Build this up another level, like that. Then we're going to do at the back, we're going to have one block coming out the side, leave the middle part because we're actually going to put a ladder up onto that. Have another block coming out, we're going to have three blocks going around here, but basically we're going to be outlining the whole thing. Should have really just said that, that made much more sense, there we go. Plonk that in there like that. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to put a deck on or not, as you can see, it, you can't see it. So um, I think I might have done, but I might not have done either. Tell you what, we'll leave it. We'll see what happens. Um, it'll be fine. Um, what we're going to have with an andesite wall is place those at the front. So these three blocks at the front. Then with your stone slab, put these underneath these bits here. Like this. There we go. And now for the gun itself. Right behind here, leave one block. And then with your stone stairs, we're going to have stone stairs going across. <laughs> Stuck in the thing. Stone stairs going across here like this with upside down stone stairs on top of it, like that. Around to the front, what we're going to do, we're going to have a stone slab right here. Either side of that, we're going to have a stone stair. Then we're going to have a stone slab on the lower piece in the middle of that. Then upside down stone stair, upside down stone stair like this. Then we're going to have a stone slab on top of here and a stone slab on top of here. Then with your end rods, place your end rods on the ends of these as your little cannon pieces like that. On each of the sides, put dark oak fence and just punch them through. These are supposed to be the ammunition um, things sticking out of it. I mean, you could if you want to do it like this. Um, I just thought this looks a little bit smaller, um, neater, I don't know, something like that anyway. Um, but that is it, guys, for the anti-aircraft gun. So for the next bit, we're going to put in this little section here. We've got a spotlight. We'll do these boats as well at... Um, at some point I think we'll probably end up putting in this big back section and then we'll do the boats um, and get onto the guns and things like that and they will make more sense because we kind of need to know where everything is hitting into to make sure it's all right. So anyway, from the back here we're going to have a four block gap, so one, two, three and four. 
we're going to have three blocks going across. So that's your gap. One, two, three, four. Build this up twice. And then also have this one going. Basically, it's a double block here. So you end up with this two by three block here. Right at the back, what we're going to do is we're going to have a block here. And then this is going to go out and around like this. I'm going to put our stone slabs onto that as well. If you guys did want to, by the way, feel free to... I actually can't do it at this one. Oh, actually, no, you can. Yeah. I'll show you guys in a sec what I'm actually thinking in my brain. Um, so what you can have here... Oh, no, you can't have it. No, you can't at all. Never mind me. Ignore my brain. I was thinking, oh, you might be able to do it where you can have a little area here where you can go down a ladder or something, but actually you can't. Um, you can tweak it to, to make it work, though. So anyway, right. On the front of this, have a stone slab like that. We're then going to have three iron bars... And what I ended up doing is putting on the Union Jack, uh, the British flag. Uh, up to you guys. If you want to put a flag on here or not, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, the one that's got the nice letters and numbers also has a series of flags. Very, very cool. I would not be able to figure this out in banners. I am terrible at them. So it's awesome. It's a brilliant site. Um, so there you go. Um, right behind this, we're going to have a smooth court stair. Then we're going to have a sea lantern because we are, of course, at sea. And we're going to have spruce trapdoors around this. And this one is pointing forwards, which annoyingly does connect into this flag, but there's nothing we can do about it, so yeah. Um, then we're going to have iron bars either side of this. Now, with mine, because I ended up, you know, when I built the ship, I then flipped it. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. I changed this. Okay, apparently I just only had it on one side. Well, we're going to have it on one side. So usually I build half of the ship, and then I just use word edit to flip it, so it ends up with, like, duplicates like this. Uh, apparently I got rid of it on that one, uh, which is much better. So there we go. You can have a little ladder anyway on the side here. Um, and guys, that is it. Unless... So if you... Actually, I'll go through what, if you did want to do the little thing. So I'd put in a stone slab here. No one is going to notice that you can't get into that bit. Um, and then knock out this. You could then have this as a ladder down into uh, into the ship. And, um, and then just put a little door on facing that way. You know, if you wanted to do that, this is actually a pretty good place to put that on, I reckon. I think that'd work quite nicely as a little little hidden door in. Um, but it doesn't exist, I don't think, on the ship. It's very difficult to tell because a lot of these pictures, um, you know, they'll have the boats on here. So this bit is really difficult. I luckily just had a an overview picture of and actually somebody had done some models of it, which is why I got this. But I couldn't see that on there, but uh, that's what you could do. Anyway, we'll get on to the next section, which is where we've got one of the guns here. Uh, and then we'll do the boats, then we'll do the guns, and then we'll finish off the little bit at the end of the ship. We are nearly there, guys. Oh, and also the brigging and stuff, but yeah. So for the back gun emplacement, which is kind of raised up, what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to build this part of it first. We're not going to build the guns yet. We'll do both of those two together. So we're going to be three blocks or three block gap uh, from the kind of signal light. One, two, and three. Then we're going to have five blocks across like this. Two, three, like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a total of nine blocks going this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we're going to have three blocks going across here. So you get this kind of a shape like that. Build this up to two high. So again, these are all really, really small. All of these like seem super cramped. <laughs> Super duper cramped. Right, what we're going to do now, right on this front side, we're going to have two blocks just on there. Then we're going to go out and we're going to have five, two, three, four, and five. Then two blocks, two blocks, and we get your five, two, three, four, five, and then two blocks there, like that. And it's up to you guys. It depends on how annoying it gets when you're crouching underneath these. If you want to put your slabs in of stone, you can do, which just means you've got to crouch to go underneath it, which it, I totally understand it can get quite annoying. Depends on how much you're walking around the ship, really. Um, that's the main thing. Right, cool. So that's that there. What we're going to do on the front now is there's this little kind of ramp-looking thing. It's a bit odd, but uh, we're going to build that. So we're going to have uh, just a full block of stone on the side here. Then we're just going to ramp this up with slabs just three times. You go one, two, and three like that. And then in the middle, we're just going to have just slabs on the lower piece there. Uh, just to make it look a little bit more detailed, um, you can just go with it just being slabs from, from down here. Uh, it's just I wasn't that keen on the look of that whole thing. So what we're going to do on the side here now, we're going to have two blocks on this side. So we're looking towards the back, one, two there. Not that it really matters, then put a ladder up. 
<clears throat> okay. Now what we're going to do with our andesite wall right in the middle is go up with three. One, two, and three. And this will eventually connect up with the mast. So that's what's going to be going on there. Um, we can then fill in this deck. Again, it's, it's so small you've only got a block to play around with. Um, so unless you want to... You know, <clears throat> God, what's going on with my voice? Unless you want to, um, you know, do the old trick of grab yourself a trapdoor. Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, that'll do. And knock yourself down. <laughs> Unless you want to do that, <laughs> which you can do um, to get into it, then uh, you can either just, you know, raise the whole thing up a block, or you can just, um, you know, cut out the floor underneath and have this as a bigger room there or or something like that. It's one of the things, these ships are so small um, and I've tried to make it like accurate even though this is actually bigger than what it would have been with the with the barrier going around it and everything uh, which is crazy. Cool, so that bit anyway is done. So let's get these ships in. And now for the life rafts, the boats and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to build, so I've actually got two different designs because I could see one had like um, some stuff over the top of it. It was all grey, uh, but I switched it to wood because it, with it all being like stone and andesite or anything like that, it just, everything looks grey. <laughs> so I decided to do it out of wood. It's up to you guys if you want to make them quite grey or if you want to make them out of wood. Again, yeah, up to you guys, really. Um, where we've got this little signal light, the, the light thing in the jiggy, uh, where we've got this bit of sticking out over it, that right here on the iron bars is where our starting point is going to be. You're going to place a dark oak fence there, leave a block gap, and then we're going to have two dark oak fences. It's going to be part of the uh, structure for it, the, the bit that holds it up. That's the one. Uh, underneath this, we're going to have uh, spruce slabs, and just bring that forwards until you hit into here. So this is where you're going to be diagonal with this um, anti-aircraft kind of section here, because then we can put a spruce stair on the front of it, upside down, and then we're going to have upside down spruce stairs on the sides of it. And you'll see here, this is why it gets that big. There we go. Like that there. And then what we'll do is we'll put in a couple other bits of fences. Let's put a fence here and we put in a fence going down here. And at least with this one, you know, with your ducking down, you can at least walk under it and everything. Um, so the other ship is exactly the same. So we can do the same thing. We build this up here. Uh, and in fact, we can even build these up right here as well. Put in those spruce slabs and bring that forwards. Have your upside down spruce slab, a uh, stair even, sorry, upside down spruce stair. Upside down spruce slab, I'm not totally sure what that even mean. But uh, there we go, put these in here. And bring that one across as well. So with this one that I've got on the left side, though it doesn't really matter, uh, put in a spruce slab at the bottom and then every other one put in a spruce slab. These are the, like, the little seats that you get for them. With this one I didn't do that, I actually just put in a slab at the end. Um, you could put in those kind of seats but the reason I didn't is so you can technically get in here. So, you know, why not? Uh, and I've got a little thing on the back. So I guess this one I've gone with rowing, this one is a little motorboat. Why not? So we'll put in that, um, that little bit, uh, the rudder kind of thing here, or the engine engine thing, I don't know what you call them. Um, and then at the front we're also going to just punch that through, that's going to be the wheel, or you can just have it normal as the wheel. It's, at the end of the day it's a rubbish wheel so it doesn't really matter. At the back we're going to have three lots of oak stairs, one, two and three, and again this was just to make it look different. Um, and then we got the oak slabs on the top like that. And then at the front two blocks have got the stairs. And then we've got that there. So then that's it, that is it for the little ship. Or those two, I'll say the little ships, they're actually the bigger ones out of the two. Got these other little like life crafts as well. So for these ones, grab your dark oak um, fence, and we're actually going to be one block back towards the light from the gun section here. So we go one there, leave a block, then put another one in, and we're going to do the same here as well. These are really, really small. Up to you guys if you want to make them out of white or any other colours. Um, whatever you want, really. But right here, we're going to have upside down smooth quartz stair um, and then we're going to have three slabs underneath that and then we're just going to have these as upside down stairs in these bits. Now if you want to make them look even smaller you could take these this slab up by one 
Um, it's up to you guys, really. Um, I'm pretty sure of my ones I made them a little bit deeper. Yeah, I did, yeah. I thought I did with these ones. But um, it's up to you guys what what you want it to look like if you want it to make it look, you know, slightly different than the other ones. Could also put in another slab there if you want to do that. It actually looks all right, I think. So we'll go with that. So same on the other side as well. These ones are exactly the same. So just place in your fences right in the middle. Have those slabs in there like that. Upside down stair. And we're going to have our upside down stairs on the sides. And also, well, just on the sides. No, no other also's at all. There we go, like that. Whack those in there like that. That then gives us the boats, which fills out this midsection quite easily. And now you can kind of see why, when I was looking at the model, I was like, I can't see what's going on with this thing. I know there's a thing there. I can see a light, but that was about it. Right then, guys, we are going to get on to building in these two guns now because we can do them as one whole section. Before that, though, because we might as well, we're going to put in the guard on the side here. So we've got six on the sides. It'll just make it a little bit less going on and I won't forget about it. Um, so where we've got this inner kind of a bit here where it moves in, we're going to have upside down polished andesite stairs. We're going to have six of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, with this guard, I should say, it actually goes around the front a little bit from what I remember. Um, or it goes all the way around the front or it just comes out a bit further. I think actually, yeah, with this one, it should be coming a bit further as well. So it should be coming to like here. I just took that bit out so that you can walk around it. Uh, that was the tweak that I ended up making to the design to make it more Minecraft friendly. Yeah, I think that's the, the right term. So there we go. Put in those there like that. Right, now we'll do the guns. So for the back two guns, what we're going to do is right on this top section here. Um, they are exactly the same as the front guns, just, you know, 180. So if you are using World Edit, feel free to just copy and paste them, whack them in, save you a bit of time. Uh, but I'll be going through them anyway for you guys that don't have the fancy toys of World Edit. So what we're going to do anyway on this side here, we're going to leave two of these and we're going to go to this section here. We're going to have a stone stair going this way, then wrap it in like that. And we'll do the same on the other side there and wrap it in. Do the same but upside down above it. So you've got these. And again, those tweaks that I was talking about with the first one, feel free if you've you know changed it a little bit, uh, gone with any of those tweaks and you want to continue that through, feel free to do so. No problem at all. Right in the front of these, we're going to have three upside down stairs. Then we're going to have a set of blocks on there like that. With our polished andesite, we are going to have a slab on top of here. And we're going to have these going out with four in total. So on the sides, this is what I'm doing. I'm just building the middle to go out. But it looks like I'm making a right mess of it because I am. There you go. So one, two, three, four. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a stone slab right in the middle here. Then a dark oak fence gate, punch that through. Behind this, we're going to have a block of stone here, block of stone there, and a block of stone behind those there. And we're just going to cap this off with stone slab. Not there, just on the back. I did that and I just looked and I go, that looks horrendous, this can't be right. <laughs> but there we go, you get that, and then just put in your polished black stone slab underneath there. So we're going to do another one. Uh, this one is going to be a four block gap from this main section. One, two, three, four. So we get that first stair. And then these just curve in. Get rid of this bit now. We can actually put in the, the base, why not? Um, we're then going to have an upside down stair here. I don't know why I was building it that way, but, you know, curve it. Upside down stair this way. Into the sides. And I just realized as well, I've missed out. I know why I thought there was a double stack on this. That's because putting extra stairs here and then have three slabs over the top. I was like, just thinking like, hmm, but that still doesn't look right. In the back of my mind, I was just going, oh, it's fine. He'll be, he'll be all right. We'll figure it out in a sec. Um, well, that is right, but uh, no, it's not. So back onto this one, upside down stairs, three upside down stairs. Get your three blocks of stone on there. We're going to build up our, what I'm going to try this time is just putting blocks actually. See if this makes it easier. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. That is much easier to build it up. There we go. So do that. You get your four lots of polished andesite there. Stone slab in between those. Block behind this and put in another block. Uh, we're going to put in our dark oak fence gate right here and punch it through. Slabs over the top. And then some more slabs over the back here. 
and put in some upside down stone stairs. There, like that. There we go, guys. Cool. So those are those two guns. So we'll finish up these tiny little bits of details at the back, put in the flag. Then we'll get on to what is the biggest pain in the butt. Um, and it's up to you guys if you even want to do it or not, but we'll have chips to compare. Okay, so for the depth charges at the back, what we're going to do is we're going to use polished blackstone. Uh, we're going to have two polished blackstone slabs down here. We're then going to have a polished blackstone stair going this way. So we've got a little gap under underneath it. Then a slab, then a stair on the back of it like that. And then on these, we're going to use barrels. The closest thing we've got to depth charges in Minecraft, um, at least as far as I'm concerned. So we've got those on, on there like that. Uh, we're also going to need a spruce trapdoor to put that on the back so it doesn't fall off. At least it's going to fall off. And let's let them go down into the water. You can also, you know, cut out um, one of the fences and things like that. But we've got, we got the flag there anyway, so it's already not functional. Um, so right here, we're going to have some more depth charge throwers. We're going to have them here, leave two block gap, and then put in another one there. There we go, get some like that. And I put the barrels where they're facing in the middle. Uh, just because most of your camera angles for it, well, I mean, they're going to be from the back or they're going to be from the front. So no matter what, you're going to see it, but that'll do. Right, so fence flag wise which we'll use at the rest of the distance we got here we're going to go one two three and four with your dark oak fence um, I did it in the kind of like British colors of white uh, red and also the blue but uh, yeah for this we'll do one white concrete on top of this I'm gonna go diagonal and down to have a red then we're gonna go down like that to have a blue and then do I just go sideways or white? I do indeed. There we go. I just went with white. Or you can just use the nice flag that we've got over there. But that'll take you to the edge. Uh, feel free to change this up if you don't like it. Or to change it to your own flag colours. Why not? But there we go. That is the ship without the rigging parts of it. So it's up to you guys. I love this smoke now. I'm totally using it. I can't believe I'm so dumb that I didn't even think about it. Until just suddenly. But there we go. This is what it looks like with the rigging on it. And this is, of course, what it looks like without, which is going to be the version that you've actually got. So it's up to you guys if you want to put it on or not, um, is what I'm saying. Um, totally up to you guys. But uh, I'll go through that in the next section. I'm actually going to show you, uh, or going to try to show you guys in blocks, and then you can just replace out the um, the iron bars or fences or, or whatever you want to use for it. The reason I use iron bars for it is because it then connects into the, uh, the cobblestone wall, because obviously fence doesn't so that's one of the reasons or is the reason really uh, that it looks more metallic but it does look quite thick so let's do that so for the final bit which is the rigging we'll start with the back um, I'm going to show you how I got this to um, to actually work without you know having to calculate it complicatedly um, in world edit which is a mod for Java version of Minecraft what we can do is between two points actually get it to draw a line um, now the secret is I actually use this to make my Star Destroyers because it was much easier after I'd calculated the distance, you know, like widths and things like that of where they're going to be. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier. But this is called Line and then you say what material you want it out of and how thick. So if you wanted it like one thick which will then do joining up your bits then you can do that. But for us we actually want it zero which means just a direct line going from there to there. And that's what we'll get for it which is cool. So. We can then do the same on the other side. This is going to be from this midpoint. Uh, don't worry, guys. For those that don't have this fancy tool, I'll be showing you guys how to also do that it manually because um, this is just how I generated it and it just makes it a lot easier to show you guys in wool rather than try and show you guys in the iron bars. It'll be, it'll be so much more complicated to do it in iron bars, <laughs> honestly. Um, so you guys might want to do this this way. So this kind of gives you the rough shape of the whole thing. Um, it's all connected into this central block. Uh, but what we of course need to do is if we want to have it joined up, because what you could do, I'll show you on one side, is you could just have it where you do something like this. And you have a really kind of thin line. Like that. Um, and then that just goes down. But it doesn't look great because it's not connected. That's the main problem with that, or the problem that I have with that. Um, because it's not connected, it doesn't look quite right. So what we actually need to do is connect this up. So if I stop deleting all the blocks, I'll get there eventually. So the easiest way to do that, of course, um, we can either go above or we can go under. And I usually go with under. So you'll go under, that then connects that one to that one. We need to go under here and then connect this one to this one. 
um, and do things like that. But first, what I'll do is I'll go through this pattern because regardless of, you know, if you, even if you're doing the line technique, you're going to need to do something like this. So for the back, what we're going to do is go one, then you can have two. So you're going to go down and have two. Move in and have two. Then move down and have two. Move down and have one. Then move down and in and have two. Then move down and have two. Then move down and in and have one. Then move down and have two. Move down and have two. Move down and in and have two. And then finally have a one. So that's the kind of pattern that you guys need to have. Now what I'll do is, because it makes it a bit easier I find, if I get my field of view a little bit down though, to be fair, because we've got the other one on there, it doesn't make it as easy. Yeah, there's not really a good, good, easy way to do it. Um, you know, if you need to, slow down that part of the video and, you know, start from that. Um, with the front, I'll go through this again. So you've got, or go through this once. I haven't gone, gone through it before. So we're going to have two. Go down and have three blocks. Go down and in and have two. Go down and have three blocks. Go down and have three blocks. Go down and have one block. Move in but not down don't move down and have your two move down and have three blocks move down and have two blocks move down and have two blocks move in but not down and have one block then move down and have three blocks move down and have three blocks move down and have two blocks move down and in and have three blocks and then move down and have two blocks okay so that's what I want you guys to do. Um, this will give you, it'll make it a bit easier. And then what we're going to do, like I was saying, is underneath this, we're just going to join in. So that will then join up. And then on the inner, inner parts like this, we need to go under and then move it in. This one's nice and easy. We just go under. This one's quite easy. Go under. And then this one, go under and then in. And under. Under and in. Under. Under under and in and then finally under here like that okay now the REPL tool is great in world edit but not for this because um because of the block states that are in, uh, they're in there so then all you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're just going to replace the wall with iron bars now you can do it in other stuff you can do it in fence of course um and things like that no problem at all if you didn't want to have the joiny bits you could actually go with just having uh, something like fence gates that would look pretty good as well but then we'll just go in here and as you can see it's a lot easier to see the wall than there's anything else and in fact this is how I built the thing uh, and how I build these kind of things because it just takes away the the aggravation of trying to figure out what you've just done <laughs> you can just see it all in one go with a wall you can't see it as clearly with um, iron bars once you get there there we go so we get something like that so we'll do it on the other side as well. So right here we go under, then we got under and in, under, under, under and in, under, under and in, under, under. And that is an under. There we go. It's probably best actually to do all of that part of it before you put down the iron bars. As you saw, I got a little bit confused there. Which isn't difficult, but it's possible. There we go. Cool. So. Getting all of this going on. You guys will get there. But it is a pain. All of this stuff. When I was looking at it, I was thinking, do I or don't I? And I was like, oh, it does have them on it. So tell you what, I'll give it a go. If it looks if it looks rubbish, I'll get rid of it. I decided I don't know if I like it or not. I kind of do and I kind of don't. It's one of those. Um, I think without it, the mast looks a bit I don't know, lonely, I guess. Not really the right word, but you know, we'll go with it. Uh, right, so for the front, we're going to go obviously here, just go under, then under and in, under, under, under. Uh, this one will go on the inside of that, and under, 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 under. Oh, and this one's behind it. Under, under, under and in, and then under. There you go. So, really got three of those? Oh, I actually left this one here. Something happened here. Oh, okay. I might have world edited that one in. Okay, that's why. I was looking at that going, that looks slightly different than what I've got, but we're going to go with what I've done right here. So, under and in, 
under, under, under. Uh, on the inside part of that one, under, under, under. The front is slightly more difficult, I think. Uh, right here we go behind and then under, behind, behind, and then there. Okay, cool. So that's now all sorted. And as you can see, you can see how much space this actually takes up when you see it with the wall. Um, it's quite remarkable, really. But then we just go in and we start replacing these. So nice and easy, at least. A bit of relaxing. Placing blocks. Now I'm sure in World Edit there's a way to just update all the block states to whatever the natural block states are, but uh, I don't know it and I, I'm not going to go and Google it now. So that's the reason I'm not doing it, but if anyone actually knows, that'd be great if you can post it in there, because I do read my comments. Um, don't respond to all of the comments, because there's there's a literally a lot. <laughs> there is a lot. I used to. I used to be able to do it in the early days. Um, but even then, I was spending like an hour. I think that was about five years ago, I was spending about an hour to two hours a day answering comments. So I can't do it anymore, but I do read them. So might take me a couple of days, but I'll get there. So if people do know anything like that, then I would love to know. Absolutely love to know. That's quite good. There we go. So here we go. Nearly there now, guys. If you, you know, place them in the right places rather than me. Let me place it all over the place. Yep, place it all over the place. That makes sense. There we go. There. Nearly in there. Okay. And nearly done. It's good. It's looking quite good, I think. Quite like these little destroyer as well. It's quite interesting to see the World War II design because of course I made modern destroyers. But this will be this is actually the first World War II destroyer, and of course well the role is very you know, the role has actually changed and evolved over time, which is quite interesting. But you know, the whole anti submarine part of it still exists. So usually those are now like frigates that might be actually doing that role, but you know, during World War II, you can imagine these being so useful. There we go, guys. So finally, we'll get there eventually to finish off the ship. But well done for completing this tutorial, guys. It's been quite a long one. Uh, so thank you so much for sticking with me and well done on completing it because uh, these are big builds uh, and they do take quite a while. And you know, a couple little tweaks that I ended up doing to the ship design. Uh, like the Zen rods and obviously the actual smoke, uh, which I'll be now plonking into all of my designs. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next one.